Okay, you may know my next guest from the popular HGTV handmade YouTube channel or their own channel, the Crafty Lumberjacks. Now, when it comes to designing their home, it's all handmade. They do it themselves. And welcome Andrew Boza and Dennis Sedaducati, who are at their place in New York City. Thanks, guys, for joining us. So this is great. Andrew, you guys were both actors, and now you're crafters. It started with making, as I understand, like over-the-top holiday de decorations. How did it go from that to your HGTV life? Well, you know, we both went on the national tour of Fiddler on the Roof, and we found that we had this mutual love of crafting. My parents were both very hands-on, and so were Dennis's. So we just had that mutual love, and when we moved in together, we decided to create a blog, and then suddenly the blog started you know, to take a little hold and HGTV contacted us and now we're on the Tamron Hall show. Oh my God, your energy alone makes me want to just get like a craft box and go at it. So let's start. Yeah. Dennis. Okay, you have here with me this stylish, it's a sculpture. You have one in front of you, but yeah. the big reveal is that this is actually made out of books. How do you do this one? Yes, this is a great project for any skill level. Take an older damaged book, take okay. off the cover and spine, okay. wiggle it around a bit so you have a little bit of movement, and then it's all about that fold. You take that top corner, fold it down into the center, take the bottom corner and fold it down to the center to create a triangle, okay. and you're gonna wanna repeat that on every page until you oh. end up with something like this. Okay, so basically you need, okay, wait, how did I do that? Wait, wait a minute. Okay, you fold it down. This looks so much easier when I was watching you do it. Okay, first of all, I think you never should throw away books. And I, so do you... You start and you think it's going to be tricky, but yeah. then once you get the hang of it, you just start doing it. It's a nice mindless craft. You can throw on something to binge watch. Uh -huh. It's great. Well, this is yep. again why I love it, because this is, this is free therapy. It's free therapy because you can do, at first I thought you need a teenager and this is how you, you get them busy. But I like doing this because of the therapy part of creating. Okay, I'm Absolutely. trying to- It's nice to kind of turn off for a little bit. And that's why we love crafting because we get to turn off our minds. Right, and, and we need that more than ever before. Okay, so the next thing you have is very interesting. And again, I've, I'm just being so honest with y'all. I was skeptical about this when I saw it, <laughs> but I'm in. It's actually harder again than it looks, but take me through this cactus. All right, we all have tons of shipping boxes coming in. Why not repurpose and reuse them? You just want to cut out two baseball bat shapes and then cut a slit onto the top of one yeah. and a slit on the bottom of the other, and then you're just going to put them together. Okay. There you go. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I, of course, Dennis. Yes, I can do that. Don't insult me. <laughs> <laughs> can you put the box together? <laughs> and then you just want to take a little hot glue just to reinforce it so it's nice and sturdy. Got it. And then once that's done, you just want to start embellishing. We just added some green acrylic paint, but you could use whatever paint color fits your aesthetic, fits your style, make mm -hmm. it as funky or as fun as you want it how to How did be. you do the little cactus things on this one? I have one in front of me. Um, how did you do the little, the little spine things there? Yeah, we just added needles by cutting pieces of embroidery thread and then just attaching them with a little bit of glue. It was time consuming, but just like the book, you know, it's one of those projects that you just start doing it and you zone out and it just, it's, it's therapeutic, like you said. Okay, you both exude happiness. I mean, you are like two of the happiest people I've met in six months, truly. Is it because of the crafting, you think, that it really does release something? Yeah, I think so. I think also we're kind of navigating through this crazy life and um, we've been presented with an opportunity of crafting for a career. Um, so we try to enjoy every moment of it. Right. And I, now you made some coasters out of bath tiles. Was that your first big like aha thing? You know, that was one of our first big aha things. We love to take things that you can find, you know, that you might already have laying around your house and turn them into something else. Living in a one bedroom apartment, we really don't have a lot of room for a lot of extra materials. So we're always looking to upcycle and repurpose what we already have into something even better. Which, which is the catchphrase these days, upcycle, repurpose, things that basically it means you're using them again. You're finding new life for things that you would have normally discarded and, and we don't want to be so wasteful now. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so I'm still working on my cactus. You have the final one here. I guess the, the secret sauce in this, are, the, are these black beans? 
Yes, dried black beans. Again, using what you have. We don't have a yard here, so we pulled from our kitchen. You can use lentils, rice. If you have a yard, you can put sand, pebbles, and then you just stick your cactuses right in the pot there, and you have a house plant that you can't kill or that your cat will eat. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, my I'm, my cactus is still drying. I really enjoy this. And what I think is so special, again, about what you guys do, um, it's, it's the simplicity of it all. It's something yeah, that you can dig into. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff, and you bring it to life. Yes, we like to appeal to... to to every man, every person, that they can get crafty, get creative, um, you know, and it, it really requires not a lot of skill. It's just about the process, the journey that it takes you on. It's really not about the end product. It's just I about- love it. Well, awesome. I'm happy the end doesn't matter because my cactus is pretty tragic. <laughs> Dennis, Andrew, congratulations on all of, don't show that, all of your success. We appreciate you joining us.